what you want to do is pretend like this area in between is going to not get a whole lot of light. So these areas are going to be dark. This area is supposed to be pushing forward into space and so it's going to be considerably lighter than these little creases right here. You want to go with the shape. Like this is a backwards letter C. So I am doing motions that go with a backwards letter C, slowly fading it into nothingness. Now I'll come up here and I'll do opposite side following in the direction of the backwards letter C. It's considerably darker in the edges and it gets lighter and lighter and fewer and fewer in the center. And here's where you have a couple of options. You can then grab you a secondary color, like I think it might be cool just to throw a little bit of magenta in here and kind of mix it in a tad bit. I'm still following the backwards letter C. And then for shadows, you could use a dark purple or a dark blue or a black. Here's what it looks like if I'm putting in purple as a shadow. The shadows are only going near the creases. And here's what it would look like if I chose black instead of that purple as a shadow and I'm, I'm blending it out. And you can use your blending stump too to help blend some of this out. So this is what it looks like when you actually follow the direction of the backwards letter C. Here's how you do it wrong, okay? Let's do it on this one. Here's how you do it wrong. I'm gonna color up and down, up and down. I'm not going with the backwards letter C at all. I'm coloring in any kind of directions that I want. Look, and then I'll throw in a secondary color and see how that goes. Coloring, and I'm coloring way too hard, and I'm not paying attention to making sure that this area is lighter. I'm coloring it however I feel. It's not looking as 3D as this. Coloring in whatever direction you want to go is not going to make it look good. If I throw in my black in any direction that I want it to go, that's scribble scratch. This is way more professional, okay?